Hello, Dr. Anita Johnson here. And as you can see, I'm in Hawaii, and I thought I'd bring you here to the beach with me and introduce you to my buddy, Ozzy. So this is Ozzy, look at him. He loves the beach. And um, I wanna tell you a little bit about Ozzy because he's a gorgeous goofball, adorable dog. But the thing about Ozzy is he's really, really, he's really a sensitive being. And, and in my sessions a lot of times that I've had with clients, I would, I would be sitting with a client and maybe she'd be crying and he would come in and join us sometimes and he would go and he'd put his head on her lap. And then she would leave and, and the next client would come in and he might be sitting at her feet. And, and this time this client was complaining about her husband who was just really um, giving her a hard time about something and she was upset and she said, I just wish he would give me some space. And at that moment, Ozzy got up and he walked across the room and sat across on the other side of the room. So what if we could accept our sensitive nature? What if we could say, all right, I feel things deeply. And maybe stuff that, that might not affect somebody else penetrates my very bones. And, and what if I, I feel things deeply? Is that really a bad thing? Because maybe those of us who are super sensitive and find certain things intolerable Perhaps those are things that ought not to be tolerated. And imagine, imagine what the world would be like without that level of sensitivity. There would be all kinds of horrible things that would be tolerated when people aren't sensitive to them. And, and imagine what it would be like if we had a world without people that were sensitive to, to the smell of a newborn baby or, or the, the, the sensation of the sun against your skin, or the sound of the birds as they go flying by. All of these are sensations, and those of us that are very sensitive, we get to take them in. We get to take in so much of life if we allow our sensitivity. But if we don't, if we think there's something wrong with it, if we believe the stories we've been told that we're too sensitive or we're overreacting or um, there's something wrong with us that we need to just get over it or we, we need to have thicker skin or, or be more like, you know, um, say things are no big deal or they don't really matter. What does it take? to block your, your nature. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of attention to things that will, as effectively as possible, try to numb us, try to distract us. And ultimately, it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is, if you're a sensitive being, I'm going to invite you uh, to do that. Just see, look at Ozzy. He just invited himself. He saw a potential person on the beach and a, a person dog really and now he's checking out to see okay is this is this an okay thing to do or not and he's using every bit of his sensitivity to determine whether these are playmates um, or whether they're better off just going their separate ways so I think Ozzy's my teacher He's found, you see, he's found one, one animal that says, okay, this is someone to play with. But that's what our sensitivity is for. It's to help us discern what, what is right for us and what's not right for us. And so I'm going to invite you to take, take a lesson from Ozzy.